I'm here at the Esports World Cup to play in a $10,000 Shrenova Land tournament. They wanted to step into the global esports scene, so they invited me to represent NA. But I'm against the best players in China. No, really, the best players in China. But just, how did we get here? Okay, so the creators of Stranova are inviting me to Riyadh for a competitive show match. And, like, I show a lot of love to this game, but they're paying for my entire trip. So, naturally, I said yes. Uh, they told me to round up some of my good friends to hop on a 20-hour flight. Uh, and this is my first time leaving America, so wish me luck. With so much on the line, you might think we thoroughly prepared for this. Well, hey, Lyric. How much did you practice? Uh, maybe three days. We had some warming up to do. 20 long hours later, we arrived in Riyadh. I've gotta say, huge shout out to the Shrenova team because they let us stay in a five-star hotel. Turn on the lights. Five-star room. What's it got? Shee! And to sweeten the deal, they even dripped us out on some Shrenova merch made exclusive for the Esports World Cup. It's a shitty. It's a shirt <laughs> I went the wrong way. <laughs> I've never been treated so well by a game before, so it felt great to congratulate Shrenova on their first birthday when we had dinner. We also got to speak with the president and lead game developer about the future of Shrenova, and it was reassuring knowing that the game was in good hands. This is my first time doing like an in real life esports walkout, so <sighs> quite nerve wracking, a little bit of anxiety, but we're excited. So yeah, I'll see you guys tomorrow. What up guys? Just woke up four hours ago. Bree, what are we doing today? Oh, uh, what we're we doing today? Yeah. Uh, gonna get breakfast, hang out a bit, and then gonna do a walkout when take some photos. Okay, so what we're doing today? <laughs> Holy moly. Breakfast the next day was insane. They had so much selection to choose from. Uh, well, you're going hard. I should go harder. Why don't you tell them what you're eating today? Why don't you show them your single meal? So, I'm having one hash brown. <laughs> We're going to the eSports World Cup venue. I think it's 115 degrees outside. It's hot as shit. They got ice. I'm playing in a $10,000 Chernova land tournament. What? And so, we made it to the Esports World Cup venue. I saw my wrist. I saw my wrist about 10. Huh? Okay. Oh. We got to practice a bit on the PCs located inside the glass room. I knew that by tomorrow, there would be a crowd watching us, and I didn't want to embarrass myself, so I definitely needed this warm up. Sadly, my game time was cut short. They escorted us to take some pictures and practice our poses. Sheesh! I got to have a short chat with our opponents, the Saudi Pro Valorant team. But what they didn't know was I was launching a full psychological attack on their minds using interrogation techniques to lower their guard for tomorrow. And then we went home. This is day one of the exhibition match for Shrenova. We're getting lit in this function right now. We have two fellas aim training. One and number two. Yeah. We got BTMC on the aim trainer. He's retry spamming IRL. Yeah. It's too free. I'm sucking ass. So the tournament is split into two days. Before we fight China for the number one prize, we're gonna have to beat Twisted Mind, the Saudi Arabian team. And I'm a little nervous because if we lose, we get nothing. But if we just won, we'd guarantee $3,000 just for getting second place. We had a little bit of time to catch the match before hours, so I sat in the bleachers to spectate. It was TMMMR representing China and Nova Guardians representing Japan. With expressions like those, you had to wonder what strategy they had up their sleeve. For, the, uh, for people who's watching and see some characters climbing the wall. Yeah, you can see they're, they're just floating or climbing to the wall, but uh, you can see the smoke nade and uh, they got many of the uh, visions and it's so quick. Well, maybe they had none because that round had ended in just 10 seconds. And for the rest of the match, Nova G just got stomped. 
The only time they even got a kill was when they all turned a paper on the wall and camped there for the first target. And I mean, the results made sense. The Chinese team were literally the world's best Chernova players. And the game was only out in China, so yeah. This visual that they showed on stream told the entire story. Despite the loss, Team Nova Guardians was an inspiration because they were having fun no matter how much they were losing. I really admire Nova G's, you know, the, the, the atmosphere. <laughs> hello, hello, hello. <laughs> <laughs> It was hard not to cheer for them. MMR's overwhelming victory over the Japanese team didn't make me necessarily excited to verse them in the finals. But that's only if we won today's match. So with that, we got ready to head into the PC room. You know what they say about big mouse pads. It's been a long time since I've competed in a setting like this, so naturally my heart was beating super fast. But I had to put my nervousness aside. Having the most competitive experience on my team, I had a duty to keep calm and put on a show. Oh yeah, I forgot to tell you our team name. Sus. Go with him, go with free, go with free, go with free. Follow me, follow me, follow me. Nice. Get around, get around, get around, get around. Okay, we got this, we got this. Nice one. Thing in the middle, but uh, I think the character is carrying bomb. It's about to down. All right, now it's a sticky situation. The bomb is in the middle, and they got surrounded, short-handed. This is mine. It's gonna fall. Got it. Got it. Oh, uh oh. Speaking of three. Nice, good round. And that's a GG. Super Shuai took the lead. We took the first map 9 1 and were looking good to win map 2. Feeling confident, I decided to lock Flavia, the super aggressive duelist. They just caught her. One. Carry, carrying again? Just get to me, get to me. Big white me. Easy, find the store, find the store. Reef. Stream five band. Smoke is down. Carry you. Wait, it's my ace. Hi, key. This round, carry you is uh, a single handed eliminated four. Five? Uh -oh. Nice one, nice one, nice one. Woo! Nice one. Woo! Uh, what? Why did you high five me? <laughs> I'm scanning. Hold up. One left. I think this is it. Congratulations. You're super shy. Yeah. Super shy. They managed to make it right now to the grand final, playing against MMR. Our match against Twisted Minds ended up in a clean sweep, mostly due to the fact that my team was more familiar with the game than they were. We guaranteed ourselves $3,000, and the Chernova team invited us to have a fancy dinner. Holy smokes. As day one closed out, our whole team relaxed. We were fine knowing that we secured second place and guaranteed money. Lyric, BTMC, Jake, and I were pretty much expecting to get stomped tomorrow. We had scrimmed the Chinese team earlier during warm-up, and it didn't go well at all. Just went 1-9 against the Chinese team in a scrim. Now I'm gonna eat this burger. <laughs> Not bad. We went home and went straight to bed, and kind of just accepted our fate for tomorrow. Well, all but one of us. Bree, our teammate who has been playing Chernova for the longest, made a call to a top-level Stranova coach and started brainstorming. How could a bunch of decent players beat the best team in the world? The coach told him there was 0% chance of us winning. But that didn't discourage Bree. He spent the entire night thinking of strategies until the very next day. Hello! I lost my mic. To be honest, I thought Bree was delusional. 
We were super unprepared and we were against a Chinese team with a history of winning tournaments. Yet, as he explained our strategies while we ate breakfast, a part of me started to believe. No, you're gonna play here. Corner, yeah. The corner. So, uh, and then Mao Mao's gonna play here. So you three, I'm with Qin Hui on B side. In order to defy the odds, you have to be a little delusional. Thanks, Bree. With their gameplay, with their skills in the game, and from what I have seen yesterday, um, it seems like they have the highest potential of winning. On the first round, they ended up hitting B. We didn't even have time to react as their Ming instantly killed Jake while in the air. No. I responded with a trade onto their Ming and my teammates also got their one. It was looking a little too good to be true. All we had to do was not go in one by one. Two versus three. Okay, two versus two, but someone is trying to resurrect us two, but uh, they have Astiot on the uh, MMR side. MMR set a statement for the rest of the game with that round, but you know what? The fact that we almost took a round against the best players in the world with two new players on our team was fucking crazy. The game continued on with a few close calls from us, and our cheese strats sometimes got us really far into a round. It got to the point where it was a 3v3 and we actually had the advantage. But I died to a glitch. What? what? Wait, what? It was like the universe wanted us to get 9 owned, but at this point, we didn't even care for the results of the match. Putting up a fight against the best players in the world, no matter how small, was a crazy accomplishment. By the time the game finished, you couldn't even tell which team was the real winner. Like, they're the ones who started praising you. Uh, yeah. <laughs> they shouldn't should be them. <laughs> if you're ju judging from the camera, I would. Have <laughs> the next map passed in a flash without much of a fight. But it didn't matter because we were having fun. Uh, you guys come here often? <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Free, free, free! No! Yes! No! Wait, we have to. We have to. Don't go back that way! Don't. Go. NT, 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 NT. NT! <sighs> GG's, guys. I'm kind of hungry. <laughs> I'm calling you. Carry you. Dude, you really need to work harder than that. And with just one map left for us, we were determined to get at least one point on the board. I had to get on the sniper for this one. Oh my god, I'm so much better! I'm sticking. Oh, the bomb, the bomb is being defused. Ooh, the bomb has been defused! Stick it! Stick it! Stick it! No! Oh, what the fuck? What the fuck? What the fuck? 139 Ming, 139 Ming. 360! Damn it. Yes! Yes! Oh, oh, my friend, my friend. Oh, oh, oh my god. Oh my god. Alright, how are we winning this? Again, but Kerry, you got one and not enough. Why is he got one? Oh my god, congratulations to MMR on YZ Show Right. Although we lost 2 to 27, the outcome of the game didn't really matter to me. Okay, maybe a little bit, but. Honestly, one of the most memorable parts of the trip was not even the match itself. It was the love that Shinova showed me. It was the first time that my passion for a game was so recognized, and by the creators nonetheless. As I headed home, I was already planning in my head the next time I'd be able to play Shinova on stage. And hey, next time, we're not gonna go down with two points. We're gonna get at least three.